always on displays. Who does it better, OnePlus, LG, or Samsung? Let's go. How's it going everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sick Eric TV. And today we're gonna to be talking about the always on displays on three different devices. We're talking about OnePlus, LG, and Samsung. Which one is better? and which one has the most features as far as customization and being able to change all your different clocks. So we're gonna jump down into each one, one how OnePlus does it, how LG did it or still does it on their existing phones and on Samsung. We got the S21 Plus, the LG Velvet and the OnePlus 9 Pro. And we're gonna dive into the settings and see which one has the most features and is more customizable. So before we get started, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell icon that way you get notified on my future videos. If you end up liking this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up at the end of it. I really, really appreciate it. So let's jump down into it and get started. All right, so let's start on over with OnePlus. So when you go into OnePlus' settings, you go into customization and you have the uh, all the lock screen and ambient display settings up here. It does give you the option to do a canvas setting, which you could uh, choose, a, choose a photo and make it into like a canvas shot. I really don't use that a lot. Uh, you could change your wallpapers and then clock on always on ambient display. This gives you several different options to change your clock. You get your normal. You also get a Bitmoji, which was recently added. You get an insight, which sort of shows you your phone usage on there as well. Uh, several different clocks. You got some analog clocks, digital clocks, and then uh, some more analog clocks. They do have quite a few. You also have the option to have none, but they don't have as many uh, as I would like to see. And then for your fingerprint sensor, you can change the fingerprint sensor. It gives you three different options, energy, cosmo, ripple, and stripe, four different options, sorry. And yeah, it's, it's customizable. You could change your lock screen colors and you could also change your horizon light to where uh, if you get a notification, it'll light up the edge of the screen. Not much customization. I would like to see more, but the cool thing that OnePlus does is they offer gestures. So if your phone is locked and you're playing music, all you have to do is just swipe and it'll start playing music. You swipe down again, it'll pause it. If you want to jump to the next track, you swipe on the screen and it'll control your music player or whatever you're playing. I really do like that feature when I have my phone sitting on the desk. I can just have it there and I could swipe through my music and change tracks, go backwards without having to turn the phone on. So that's really cool. One feature that I do like about OnePlus is uh, always on display. You go into custom uh, displays and you go to ambient display. You can pick up your phone to show. You could tap the screen to show it, or you could have it on all day, or you could schedule it as well. You do have the fingerprint sensor icon to display. You could also put a message on your always on display. And then for notifications, you get the horizon light on there. So really, really cool. Customizations are there. Each phone has their customization that I like. And you know, I guess it just depends on the manufacturer and what you like the most. I like the gestures on the OnePlus clocks. They could use a little bit more customization on their colors and clocks, but still really good settings on the OnePlus. The LG, now this is how LG did it. Uh, if you go into display and then you go into AOD, always on display, here you get several different options, quite a few. You have a whole bunch of different uh, digital clocks that you could choose from, quite a bit, and a wide range of colors that you could choose from on there as well you could change the colors on here just a lot to choose from on lg a lot of different types of digital clocks as well and if you go back you get several different types of analog clocks and i really do like the way their clocks look on lg again you could change each of the colors uh, you have the dual clock option to where it'll do different time zones on there and give you several different clocks. Uh, you get a signature, you could put your signature on there and have that as you're always on display. And then you could also do an image or a GIF and you could choose from your galleries or a theme or anything like that. You could choose a sticker 
and they also give you some pre-installed ones right here at the bottom so really really cool for lg they do offer quite a bit on their side show always on display you can do tap to show for 10 seconds or always on i have it always on another cool thing they do have is the quick tools and music player which this allows you to switch between toggles on your always on display to have your music player and then you also have your toggles flashlight bluetooth etc and you could swipe through all of those on the always on display now i like this feature too it is easily accessible but it is kind of small so when you're trying to swipe on there you do have small areas to touch it works well but i would like to see more of a bigger implementation on there i guess we're not going to get anything like that in the future but still really really nice for lg as you can see it does look really nice over here and it does have a nice bright display you could also adjust the the uh, brightness of all of these displays as well if you want to make these a little bit brighter going on over to samsung now they do have several different options to uh customize their always on display if you go into settings and then you go into always on display you have several different options you could do tap to show for 10 seconds show always or set it on a schedule which is cool you do also get a music uh information on there samsung's a little bit more weird so if you have something playing and you click on it it'll sort of bring up this other screen to where it has all your music and stuff on there and i like it but then you have to swipe back to exit out of it so it's kind of a pain to do that so i really don't use that a lot uh, you could change the screen rotation auto brightness you could set that as well and for clock styles you do have several different types of clocks not a lot but you do have several. You could also change the colors on all of these as well. Uh, you could change the style of all your digital. And then you got several different analog clocks as well. You could also do your calendar. Uh, you could do like another calendar right there. It's several different options for your calendars. You could also do a side one to where it puts it onto the side. You go into, uh, let's go over here. Yeah, these are the ones you could change and add. You can change the colors on these as well. But to further do this, you could also download an app, which is really cool. If you go into GoodLock and you were to download Clockface, so if I go on here, I can launch this. And this also works for your lock screen as well. Click on Always On Display. And what this allows you to do is build your own Always On Display clock. As you can see, I've got several different ones on here. This is really nice and very customizable. This is one thing that I really do love about Samsung and their good lock system is that you can customize the hell out of your smartphone. And this allows you to pretty much make your own lock screen while it, um, always on display. So if I click on apply that one, it pretty much applies it to my always on display. Now I got an analog clock, which is really, really cool. Uh, very customizable. That's one thing that I do like about Samsung, but you can also just keep it normal and keep it simple without using a uh, good lock. If you just go into display and then always on display, you still do get those several different options for your clocks. Not as many, but you still get a few. You also could choose from wallpaper to add an image or a GIF onto your always on display. But to increase that and to give you more customization, you can download good lock it does give you that option and there are other good lock systems to uh you know mess with your lock screen but as far as always on display you do get a lot of different options to customize over here on the samsung well on the lg they give you more options as far as clocks and different styles of clocks and then to interact with your always on display just a little bit more with the quick tools and music player and then over here on OnePlus, they don't give you that many options with the clocks and styles of your always on display, but they do have really good gestures when your phone is off. You could swipe through music, and for me, I really appreciate that. For, to each his own, as far as which one you like the best, Samsung does it well, LG did it well, and OnePlus is getting there, but they still need some work to uh, make this a little bit more customizable on their always on which will be really nice if you could add different clocks on there a lot more to choose from 
So hopefully OnePlus gives us more of that on Android 12 to where you can choose a little bit more in your clocks and your analog clocks and more customization. But yeah, they all do it pretty well. As far as in my special opinion, I don't know which one I like the best. I always like LG's always on display. It's clean, it's big, it gives you a lot of options for your clocks. But then I like the gestures on the OnePlus and I like the customization over here on Samsung. So with that being said guys, which one do you like the best? Samsung, LG, or OnePlus always on display? Which one does it for you? Comment down below, I would love to hear your opinions. And thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thumbs down if you didn't. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Peace.